India, China were on the brink of war in August last year. India and China were on the brink of war in late August, a senior Indian army commander said on Wednesday of the situation in eastern Ladakh after Indian troops took commanding positions atop some half a dozen peaks in the ranges along the southern bank of Pangong Tso Lake. The lake has been one of the major friction points in the tense 10 month long eyeball to eyeball confrontation between India and China. The troops of the two sides are currently disengaging from the north and south banks of the Pangong Tso following an agreement signed on 10 February. Recounting the sequence of events, Lt. Gen. Y.K. Joshi, General Officer Commander in Chief of the Indian Army's Northern Command, said that the situation on August 31 last year extremely, extremely tense. When the Indian Army outsmarted Chinese troops who were trying to secure the heights of the Kailash Range on the south bank of Pangong. So. Galwan had happened, the red lines had been drawn, and we had been absolutely given a free hand to conduct operations the way we wanted, Joshi told CNN News 18 channel in an interview. He was referring to a violent clash between Indian and Chinese troops in June last year at Galwan in which 20 Indian soldiers and some Chinese soldiers were killed. The Indian government had then allowed Indian troops to open fire in self-defense should the need arise. Prior to that, Indian troops though they carried weapons were not permitted to fire as per protocols evolved in talks with China to avoid casualties. With Indian troops and tanks at commanding positions on the peaks of the Kailash Ranges, Chinese tanks had started rolling up the slopes of the same mountains, on August 31, Joshi said.